Number 15. Ghost Child what is it about seeing a ghost where you least expect it that sends the most unnerving chills down your spine? Posted by Leo Alcala213 to the Chills Narrator subreddit, a group of boys are outside at night when they spot this small figure far away cast in shadows. At first, they see him standing in front of a lit building. Later, the figure is captured in front of another building. From afar, the shadow looks like a youth, standing still. The cameraman says it looks like a figurine, although it doesn't appear to be moving. In a later clip, the figure is gone, although some in the comments say the whole thing looks staged. Redditor Gemincini writes, Staged or not, it's creepy AF. Extra Serenity adds, you should go back and see if it's still there. Don't think I would heed this advice. Number 14. Office pranks are usually harmless, but when the mastermind behind them is a poltergeist, who knows what the end game is? Published to YouTube by Indo Crop Circles in July of 2017, this clip of some unusual happenings in a Malaysian office was caught on CCTV. The footage shows a man working in your everyday office alone at night. He sits down at his desk and is involved in his task at hand when, off to the right, a chair spins. He sees the movement out of the corner of his eye and looks over. As he's gazing at the chair, another to his left pushes back from the neighboring desk as if a phantom worker is sitting in it, being preoccupied with the first chair. The worker doesn't notice the second one, but he does notice when paperwork flies from the countertop out of nowhere. That's when he spins back from his seat, looking under his desk for any signs of what may be causing this mayhem around him. He stands up and picks up his phone, presumably to call for help. Although burning the midnight oil may send you up that corporate ladder, is it really worth risking an encounter with the paranormal? Number 13. Teleporting Child On occasion, Twitter sometimes serves up footage that is, in fact, newsworthy. This Twitter account tweeted, WTF, does anyone else see the child teleport? The short clip taken from BBC News footage shows an interview of a woman on the street about an unrelated topic. In the background, however, something strange appears, seemingly out of thin air. A child holding someone's hand teleports into the corner of the screen. The interview appears not to be otherwise edited. Some in the comments, however, suggest these are two clips spliced together. Camera Snaps responds, it's an edit chopped on at the end to make her look like she's happy. Some call the editing sinister, while others insist it's not editing, but rather a glitch in the matrix. Which do you think it is? All I know is that it's definitely freaky. Number 12. Edinburgh Ghost To kick off this entry, we enter the medieval old town of Edinburgh. The storied history of Scotland's capital lends itself to some truly legendary hauntings. This video illustrates that no matter where you turn in Edinburgh, you may find yourself face to face with the paranormal. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Rocket League RL, something frightening is caught on film in this normal, everyday Edinburgh park. Even J.K. Rowling found ghostly inspiration in Edinburgh, citing the very real Greyfriars Kirkyard, where you will find some of her character names taken straight from the cemetery's very own tombstones. Needless to say, Edinburgh is the perfect scene for paranormal sightings, as this video goes to show, on the banks of a lake, across the jungle gym bars of a playground, a phantom woman appears to stand still, as day turns to dusk, apart from the ghastly image of this figure stood unmoving there, strange incoherent sounds are heard throughout the clip. <gasps> Is this a case of Edinburgh's terrifying history come to life, or are our eyes deceiving us? Number 11. Graveyard Live Stream While streaming live at a New Orleans graveyard at night on February 8, 2020, Franco TV encounters not the undead, but the living. 
In the beginning, he describes his first encounter with a man in the graveyard, explaining that he'd been warned that thieves in New Orleans like to come after people who explore the city's graveyards at night. He said he'd encountered this man twice already in this episode, explaining that the man was on foot, had a book bag and approached him, passed him, and then circled around while he was outside of his car walking through the mausoleum. He feels a bit shaky from this encounter and says he doesn't know if he's going to exit his vehicle again, but he follows his audience's risky advice and does anyway. As Franco is out, walking around the creepy stone grave solo, he starts to feel unsafe again and after a time returns to his car. He is examining an above ground crypt from his vehicle when he hears some footsteps. He continues to drive around the cemetery saying he heard something from behind his car that sounded like a knocking. He says he can't get out of his car again because he thinks someone else is there. In fact, there he is. After turning around, Franco zooms in on a man walking toward him down the cemetery road. What is this man doing in a graveyard at night? Is he too live streaming for YouTube? It certainly doesn't look like it. Franco doesn't know what to do but continued to drive, passing the guy seemingly without issue. He speeds up, getting out of the graveyard as quickly as possible. As he tries to find the exit, he says the man was literally chasing after his car. He says he felt the man hit the back of it, and as he flees, explains that he must get out of there and find a safe place. He then warns viewers not to enter a New Orleans graveyard at night, as if we needed any warning after watching this. Number 10. Early Morning Drive ABC Perth reported this scary story on May 13th, revealing the terrifying dash cam footage from a mother of four who led police in a chase through the suburbs of Perth. Driving at speeds that ranged from 46 miles per hour to 87 miles per hour, the suspect went through stop signs and red lights and deliberately drove on the wrong side of the road to avoid authorities during the 40 minute chase. The judge who presided over the case viewed dash cam footage from a police vehicle involved in the chase, as well as from a civilian driver, towards which the suspect had been driving, calling her driving frightening. The victim's family said they were satisfied with the verdict and hold no bitterness or animosity towards the suspect, adding that she had written them an apology letter and has accepted responsibility for her actions. Number 9. Caught on Security Camera Think your possessions are safe right outside your home? This series of videos will have you second-guessing that. The uploader explains that the first video occurred on a Saturday night in June of 2019. It shows two women on the balcony of a house, innocently looking through a shoe cubby. After checking out a couple pairs, they suddenly race from the balcony. Apparently, this isn't their home, and they aren't supposed to be there. These same brazen ladies return in the second video. It appears they felt the need to trespass further. One of the women returns to the balcony, strolling across it at ease. That is, until she notices the security camera posted up in the corner. She laughs and covers her face, quickly leaving the balcony. It's not clear if these intruders made off with anything from the apartment, but Casium asks viewers to spread the word. If not thieves, it's still creepy to imagine strangers lurking right outside your front door at night. Number 7. School Poltergeist Published to YouTube by Proving Demons in May of 2020, the channel writes, we returned to the most haunted poltergeist school and captured insane paranormal activity on camera, from ghosts manifesting to things moving on their own, as well as a strange incident of a supernatural nature. This haunted school in the United Kingdom is apparently known for its poltergeist activity. As with most abandoned and reputably haunted places, the school is in shambles, wrecked and damaged by trespassers, age, and maybe even the spirits that haunt the place. Once inside the school, the group of investigators hears a humming that they say sounds like a generator, which is strange since the power is shut off in the school. Through the video, strange noises are heard, knockings, a woman's wails, a sound like a shower is running. 
One of the spookiest sounds, though, which the crew seems to hear recurrently, is that of a young girl crying. At one point on the wall, they spot a message that reads, Dan PD. Could that message be directed at Dan from the Proving Demons crew? As they're examining the message, a noise is heard. Something from the ceiling fell out on its own, causing the lot of them to jump in fear. Dude, where did that come from? In the basement, they tune into the spirit box. When asking if anyone is here, the spirit box answers, I'm here, mate. When asking where the spirit is, a voice says, Gymnasium. What happened in the gymnasium of this school? Whatever did, it's not leaving. Number 6. The Bridge of the Train Line Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. Nossa, my Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. Number 5. Soundtrack of Nightmares if there was a soundtrack to your nightmares, it would probably sound like this. Posted to TikTok by Hannah Hallett, she writes simply, Um, help? You'd be seeking help too if this Yankee Doodle was blaring outside your window in the darkness of night. Hannah captures what looks like an ice cream truck making a U-turn on her road in the darkness. Well, that's a little odd considering the time of day, but not overly scary. The fact that the truck's haunting children's music is blaring from its speakers, even as darkness envelopes the night, is absolutely terrifying. Who is this ice cream man trying to attract? Imagine this nightmare fuel filtering into your subconscious as you fall off to sleep. Pretty sure nightmares would be a guarantee. Number 4. Shower Demon Ready to activate your night terrors? Posted by Acid Gatter to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the redditor writes, Think this is fake but still scared the living blank out of me at the end. Originally published to YouTube by Leadbelly in June of 2011, the uploader claims that something's watching him. In the video, the man says that this is the third night this week that he's heard something. Then you hear it too. An irritating groaning is coming back from the bathroom. <laughs> Redditor Philco79 writes in the comments that it sounds like a Tauntaun, which is a non-sentient lizard from Star Wars. The man follows the sound there and finds that the bathroom is empty, or so he thought. He turns the corner to capture this. The, <laughs> the demon face does indeed appear brunt or like a frozen plastic mask, but somehow uncannily real at the same time. In the comment thread, Acid Gatter says he came across this video when he was researching shower demons because he senses a presence every time he closes his eyes in the shower when the curtain is closed. Redditor, after seeing this video, I'm pretty freaked out about a potential shower demon too. Number 3. Get Out when demons speak, you listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal, 
The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. See, it's a roach party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada, told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror, leering behind him. Then they experienced some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor, as the man kept blacking out, only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor Jazzed Out writes, that sounds like a malevolent spirit to me, and not a demon. And to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak, because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. Number 2. Woody Comes to Life in Toy Story, the toys come to life in a charming manner when the kids are away, but when it happens in this video, it's more chilling than charming. Originally posted to TikTok by Oscar Ferlin, the video shows a Woody doll standing upright on the kitchen counter with one hand on a can. Noticing that a human person has entered, the doll glances over at him before dropping his hand, going stiff like a board, and falling over backwards into the kitchen sink. Although it truly does look eerily real, some claim it's an animation, while Redditor Anna Cabana says the dolls are designed to fall over in this manner when hearing the phrase, someone's coming. Regardless of whether it's an animation or the toy's design, I think we can all agree with Mythical Gamer 9 who writes, Eh, it looks a bit too real, still very creepy, definitely not a toy on my wish list. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Graveyard Ghost when the past on are literally beneath your feet, you're bound to step in something. Published to YouTube by Exploring with Eric in May of 2020, Eric visits a graveyard at 3 in the morning in his new series The Devil's Hour. My objective is to document all sorts of evidence that relates to the paranormal world, whether it be poltergeist activity, any shape or form of apparitions, etc. by using my basic ghost hunting equipment. In this series, you will see myself investigate alone. During the first episode, he gets more than he bargained for. While in the cemetery, Eric finds a mausoleum. After hearing a loud knock during a spirit box session, the glass door closes. He then says he heard someone's voice, and he hopes there's no one here messing with him. Just as he decides no one's there, after wandering around the premises, he hears footsteps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly where I wanna show you. He runs up the stairs to the second floor to see who is there. But there's no one. He notices that the doors are open to the outside. As he shows his viewers a fountain in the middle of the mausoleum, he hears footsteps again. Oh, he returns to the inner mausoleum, where the doors are again closed. Finally, he decides to leave and it's standing outside, saying he'll return again at some point. But as he pans around, a large shadow figure moves behind a nearby tree. I just, it's too much, it's too much for me right now to handle and like. What was that? Is that what's been watching him? It's probably time to say goodbye. Thanks for checking out this video. 
Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!